thank you for coming back on the show and uh, with Elaine as we get deeper. Right, Elaine, yes. listen. We were just talking a while ago about the Black History bit and I have to go into the Windrush. My deduction is this. There's this powerful thing which is called a partner job, mm -hmm. right? And I was speaking to someone the other day and I want to hear your views on this. And they were saying, Silver, do you know that the Asians and all those persons, when they come and they actually pull together and set up the other one, they took it from the Windrush people, those principles? Yeah. Have we lost our way? That was some key things there, man. We've lost our way, but um, more than that, um, for me, it's like if you go into yeah. those various communities, they have got one leader. Yes. No matter what the, they might, they, they, they might be sub, yeah. sub uh, groups, groups yes. right? What we don't have is a leader. We don't yes. need to sign no papers or get permission to have a leader. Yes. All we need to do is get a group of people who we think are, are wise, mm. right? who can lead us, who are wise. They are the touchstone then, mm. right? And we elect somebody, right? Yes. And we elect a cabinet. We mm. elect a cabinet. We were the government to start. Right? Yeah. We have a government. Mm. Who's going to stop us from doing that? No one can stop us from doing that, mm. right? So that's our problem. We don't have a leader, right? So everybody's over in their corner doing whatever. We need somebody who's wise, who we can trust, a group of people who we can trust. Mm. And these people are made up of people who know the law, mm -hmm. who know how to, who, you know, you've got somebody who, um, who's maybe going through suffering under the hands of a narcissist then, for example. Mm. Anything that you would, that, that life challenges. Yes, yes, then, yes, yes. Right? And within this cabinet can grow our bank or can grow organisations mm -hmm. or can, who knows how to get grants. Yes. Do you understand where I'm going yes. with this? You know yes. what I'm saying? So, um, you know, the different channels and the different yes. ways how to build and empower communities. Yes, yes, that's what we need. Yeah. We need a centre because, right, all right. So, um, I remember when I had to transfer my mum from one borough to another. This was a couple of years ago. Mm. And um, I had to go to a, a local organisation, yes. right, to fill out some forms to get some help, yes. right? Yes. When I went there, it was Asians from top to bottom. It was run by Asians. Mm. But obviously, th 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 they got permission to, to, to have that there if they opened it out to the general yes, community. Yes, yes. So that's how I was there. And I sat there, and they even had, they had like a lawyer who came out um, to call someone in. And mm. this was like a um, Caucasian lady, so mm. she wasn't Asian, mm. but she was uh, handling all the legal side of yes, things. Yes. So I said, um, oh, you're not Asian. She hadn't come to me, but I just mm. kind of was being bold and says, oh, you know, how, you know, she said, oh, they just employ her. Mm. Do you understand? So the point I'm making is that they've got it so together. Yeah. They've got translators there. Yeah. That when you get like, I mean, it was, it was inundated with women who probably just come off, the, the, you know, came into the country mm, mm. and now they need to know what to do next and what have you. Yeah. Everything they needed was under this roof. Yes. One you know? One stop shop. It was a one stop shop mm. and they're entitled to it. We're entitled to it. Mm. But somebody needs to take on the job of setting it up. And maybe we need to get together and stop being stupid because, mm. you know, I see loads and loads and loads of. Um, organizations trying to come uh, come together over mm. the years mm. but the thing that always divides everybody is that everybody's trying to be the boss everybody's trying to be the boss yes you yes. can't we all can't be the boss yes. it's, it's like you know and I, I kind of um, I used to do lots of talks where uh, in the music industry yes and one of the things that I used to say to uh, especially the rappers is that I sit and I watch you guys there's 50 men on stage. There's one who's the focal point and he's doing whatever. Mm. And then you've got a couple other that's kind of, you know, the, the, the hype men who are just kind of repeating his last sentence or mm. whatever. And the rest of you are just, yeah, and all of that. Yeah. And I said, I don't see the point in that. Yeah. I said, 
if I were to take all of you and sit you down, I bet you there's a marketing man over there. Mm. I bet you there's a designer over there. Mm. I bet you that you're good at that and you're good at that. You've got mm. a record company right there yeah. on stage. All the different strands right there, yes. You've got your record company right there. Yes. Same with what, you know, we've got it right there. You know, I speak to sometimes different persons sometimes and in different organizations or groups. Sometimes the group is just one man. And you find one of its weaknesses is organizing, lack of organization. Yeah. Lack of some basic things. I, I find sometimes with profiles, person's profiles not in place, certain basic things not in place as much as possible. And it, it's right that there need to be this level of organization and strategy. And you rightly say, it's all there. It's all there. But it needs to really come together yeah. as much as possible. And I believe that is the, the challenge, I would say, for the black community. And I say the black community because I always challenge people when, you know, when they come with this foolishness sometimes to me as, oh, you're a Tory, you blah, blah. I say, listen, my name is Silburn, Silver, <laughs> straight out of Ochi. You understand? And my priority is to myself and to my people, my family. And if they're rude to me, you know what I say to them? Or if somebody challenge me as to what I should say or what I should say, I say, give me five minutes. I need to just have a check on my birth certificates. I need to just, just verify my parents, really. What I'm trying to tell the person is pee off. Yeah. You, you know, yeah. you don't have the authority, yeah. you know. And, and I think that is something that we, we need to be bold, mm. Elaine. We need to be bold and we need to really say it as it is. Or I've got a six and a seven year old child. Uh, my colleagues here have a, have a 15, 16 year old daughter. And they are growing up in this country and they're not leaving. They're not going to Jamaica. No, they're not. They wouldn't want to go to Jamaica. And they're not going to, if they go to America, they're going to run because Trump, you know? Yeah. So what about them? Are they going to grow up and keep fighting the battles that you and I should be fighting? Should be fighting? They're growing up fighting the same battles that we should be fighting. It's it? ridiculous. Honestly, it's ridiculous. And I yeah. sit back, I mean, even like, not a crafty plug, but yeah. even, I can only talk from my experience, yeah. all right? Even like with the relaunch of the 291 Club, yeah. all right? Um, it's just me and Miles. Yeah. We're the two little pe men in the basement peddling this thing, mm, right? Mm. And so we're the one that's built the website with no money and this, that and the other. So we're taking, you know. But do you know how many people that are crushing us, mm. criticising, and we know it's not, yeah. you know, yeah. all bells and whistles. We know, yeah. but what we're, our, main our main concern now is getting the words out there. Yes. Our thing is, is that we want it to be we want to build it as a company so we can make it viable, so we can employ people. Mm -hmm. But we've got to start at the bottom. By no base. means are we elude, deluded, yes. right? And I'm having these arguments with people about, you know, you're missing a trick over here and you're missing a trick over there and you should be doing this. And mm -hmm. I'm saying, here what now? <laughs> here what? We will be delegating soon, yeah. but we have to make sure that the infrastructure... The base. The base we know what we're doing. So when yeah. we're delegating, we know what we're doing. You don't, want, you don't want to bring people in who take your vision completely and throw yeah. it somewhere else. Yeah. You, you, that's what happens. You, you give that, you know, because we've got strands, which are all the reins. Then mm. we hand it to that one because we know you know what you're doing. Mm. Hand it to that one. But everybody wants to rush in and they want to say mm. that they'll do this and do... When you hear from the show, they don't really do anything. Yeah. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Or they change the vision. Yeah. A lot of it is like, oh, you know, you've got to aim it at the kids and it's a bit old-fashioned now. And, this, and I'm saying, well, it's not old-fashioned because mm. it's a talent show. Mm. Do you know what I mean? What will gloss it up is that we have younger judges. Yeah. We have up-to-the-time um, people yeah. um, performing. Yeah. And the thing that will make it different is the fact that people will be wearing up-to-the-date clothing. Yes, yes. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if you look at the Apollo, that's never stopped running. Yeah. And it still looks like what it did back in yeah, the day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but, the one that Steve Harvey come on yes, sometime. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. But you see, what it is, is that that's another thing. We're all so quick to criticise Crit what somebody else is doing. Yes, yes, yes. You know, and I've got to tell you that when I was having... Um, the Coloss on, on, on Facebook. Yes, me, I look. Is that camera on? <laughs> I'm looking at you. <laughs> I'm looking at you. If you see how much likes and this, that and the other. Mm. So now that I've gone forward yes. and the 291 is actually happening, yeah. where are you? The likes and everything. 
They're gone. Well, mate, we love we love excitement, isn't it? We love an excitement. It, but you know, um, what I will say the tickets yeah. are selling. Yes, you know, yes. so who you you know who you are, yes. who are just kind of, yes. and we know that a lot of people are watching behind curtains. But what you should do today at the, at the end of the show is to give away two tickets if they can guess something. Give a t you think about something what you can do and, and we do a giveaway, if anything. Yeah, yeah no, th definitely. Think about, think about it. I'll think about something. Think about something. Yeah. Brexit. I have to ask you about Brexit. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> asks about Brexit. What do you think about this Brexit thing? It's, it, it, it's the whole country is in split down the middle. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, I remember I was, I was right up in the middle of it and, um, you know, I've just got to recall it now. I just think that um, the whole move is benefiting something that we can't see, mm. right? And it also acts as a distraction. Mm. Um, and I think that we are all people. Mm -hmm. And it's only borders that separate us. Mm -hmm. I believe that we do need each other. Yeah. So anything that's going to segregate or, you know, sever mm. union, I'm not really for. Mm -hmm. So the Brexit is causing um, divide. Yes, yes. You know, it's causing divide. What they need to do is pay people the going rate where they're buying their products from, mm -hmm. vice versa, mm -hmm. and the world would be a happier place. Mm -hmm. Because if we, if, if Jamaica then, let's say, because what I'm always scratching my head about mm -hmm. is Jamaica is a place that has sunshine and green soil. And wood and water. Wood and water, mm -hmm. which means it's a very fertile country. Yes. You've only got to look at how many children one person could have. It's yes. very fertile on many levels. Mm. How it's a poor? You know, I was speaking about someone to, like that because <clears throat> what the deduction was that when we became independent and when sugar cane and all those things wasn't viable anymore, the Brits left us there, right? And what they did, they paid off a lot of these um, sh slave masters or whatever like that but nothing wasn't given to the people, but they gave us independence without anything to sustain us. And then at the same time, they hand over the reign of leadership to the government. And that government then actually control land. There's this thing called the Urban Development Corporation of Jamaica. And so really and truly, people never got a, a good foot ground to move on. But you said it, there's so much land, but a lot of the land is actually held up still in the government. Might as well, as some will say, still with the same bourgeoisies, same yeah. masters and stuff like no, that. It's, 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 it's the way that um, there's so much that I want to impart yes, with yes, you. Yes. So much I want to impart with you because, you know... We'll have to have, when a six, you, we'll have to another show. Yeah, but, you know, <laughs> I just want people to educate themselves. Yes. That's what I want. You know, you don't need to take the education and go out there and, and, and create anarchy. Yes. But yes. you just need to take the um, education and become wise. Yes. That's what you need to do. Take the education and become wise. Mm -hmm. Understand that, for example... When we see these general elections and, on, and, you know, all of these things in the news, they just serve as really a distraction. Because <coughs> when, um, sorry, mm. when, when, when was that election going on? That election was going on, right, this mad election was going on. Everybody was going... Which one was well, that? I, I don't know if it was Brexit or the whatever. And then two twos, was it the US government or was it, um, was it, what's his name? Barack Obama, sorry. Um... I'm sorry, I really don't mm. know names and all that, so forgive me. Tell me the me. scenario, but you know, it, yes. Right. Next thing you knew, one of the governments were in Jamaica talking about building um, Prison. prisons. David Cameron, yes. Cameron. Yeah, yes, yes. Now, I thought that I sat there yeah. and I thought to myself, how you teeth pass and slide in and slide out? Yeah, yeah. That's because we're all looking at this over here. Yes. Right? Because what we've got to remember, I saw something with Alicia Keys this morning, mm. and um, it's very relevant, and I don't know if she meant it like this, but I will use it. She was saying that we must never forget how powerful our voice is. Mm. Now, had we have seen 
Mr. Man sliding in, mm. because I never saw no big announcement for that mm. happening. You only, you only see him there. You only saw Actually, him there. when he heard it, he was back over here. He was already back <laughs> here, talking about, you know, and I'm thinking prisons, what about yeah. the, the, this and the schools and yes, the hospital? Yes, and yes. you signed that deal there already? Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So to me, it's like, you know, the point I'm making about Alicia Keys, where she's saying, don't forget how powerful your voice is, is that had we have seen maybe that, mm then maybe we wouldn't be talking about what things that we can never really change. Mm. We'd be talking about that. That could probably, that we don't know what that could have done to yes. put a halt on that particular move. Yes. Do you know what I mean? You know, sorry, I digress a little bit. Mm. These are the things that hurt me. These are the things I see on, on, on um, what's it called, YouTube, and you know it's for real. Mm. So you've got like Asia, the Chinese taking over the best part of Jamaica mm. and got us down, you know, we've even, I don't know if you saw that, that one where they did that warehouse um, raid and you've got one girl going, the Chinese, them are my God, them mm. are my God. Mm. So mm. they're in there making themselves look like God. Mm. And then like um, recently, we saw five man club a black man yeah. to death. Because he was going out with one of theirs. Chinese, yeah. Now, yeah. have you ever heard in the headlines where a Chinese man has been clubbed to death in Jamaica? Mm. Yeah. How is this happening? Yeah. See, a, a lot of things are happening, Elaine, and that's why we've got to set up the Elaine Smith Foundation oh. as an edu educational empowerment um, tool. And, uh, you know, it's why I simply said Elaine Smith Foundation as an empowerment that. and educational tool. Because there are a lot of people out there who are sitting on gems of knowledge. What you've been doing is through years, your interaction, 291 Club, back and forth, punching left and right, as a Cosamon <laughs> Clot and all those other things. And people understand, Mama, you're not listening to this one, I don't cross my words, you know. <laughs> um, but it, there, there are things in us that need to come out. And that leads me to the next question was, as you're into this era, groundbreaking side, what is your message for young black women? What advice do you have for young women looking at a career in this area? Yeah. I'm going to answer it in two folds. Yes. Um, I used to, and I still go forward to do this, I used to um, coach, do a mm. grooming course for young girls at yes. school 15 upwards because that's the age that they're most impressionable. Yes. Yeah? And one of the things I used to say to them, who in here wants to marry a king? And of course, mm. everybody's hands shoot up mm. and I'd say to them well you know you have to recognize yourself as a queen and carry mm. yourself as a queen mm -hmm. for that to happen but I'd say you know when you're walking down the roads and a group of young men are standing there and they want to get your attention mm -hmm. how do they get your attention and they'd all like a chorus go Psst, my size yo mm -hmm. whatever my girl my girl <laughs> nothing's changed that's how it was in our yeah, days as yeah. well you know we'd be like what's that rattlesnake there's a rattlesnake <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> and and i'd say like okay how do you respond yeah to that and it would fall quiet and then somebody would say well it depends on if they're piff or not yeah meaning nice yeah and then what would you do go over to them mm. and i'd be like really and I, you know, they would, if the guys look good, yeah. they would walk over to them and their boys and mm. they would start the engagement. And then I'd say, well, no, that's wrong straight away. Mm. Number one, they have to address you in the okay. correct way. Yeah. All right. The reason for me saying this is that our young ladies do not realise how much power they have. Mm -hmm. Right. By going over to these group of boys who sometimes... Not all of them sometimes are smoking their weed up to no good. Mm. Whatever it is that they do on the street corner mm -hmm. in their spare time, you are actually aiding that. And before you know it, you're hiding a gun for them. Mm -hmm. You know, not all of them, you know, mm. but you, you get drawn into that world. Yes. Right. What you need to be doing is understanding that when you do not respond to them like that in the first place, and you go about your business, all right, whoever it was that is attracted to you, be sure, because men are like this, mm. he will lay wait you when he's not with his friends. Mm. And he will, he will, what's that song? Um, go away, go, I can't remember, look, mm. fix up, look sharp, mm, right? Mm. And he will come back and he will address you in the right and correct way. 
mm -hmm. right? From the time you put your foot down as to the standards that you want in your life, mm -hmm. that's what they will try and live up to. Mm -hmm. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah, yeah. So what, us, what the young ladies need to know is that the power is really in their hands. Yes. It really is in their hands, right? And they can, because one of the things I like to say is that um, the man is the head of the family, mm -hmm. but with this neck, you can make him look anywhere you want him to yeah. look, yeah. right? Which leads me on to say that that's first and foremost where you, um, you, you, you start to grow the your base. own yeah. strength, right? Which takes you into womanhood mm. and your own power, where you're straightening up your crown, so to speak. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. <coughs> so when you now come into um, wanting to run a business, mm. the template is still the same. Mm. Right? I can't tell you the last time I've worked for anybody. Um, I've run my own wig company. You know, I had someone ring me up and say to me the other day, oh, if you'd stayed in, on Choice FM, you would have been this, that, and the mm. other, you'd have been successful. And mm. I said, well, hello. I'm successful. Yes, yes. Nobody determines my success. Or validates you. Or validates me. Mm. And that is the nugget of um, truth, wisdom that I would give man or woman. Wow. So yeah. once you've got your own validation, and that validation changes sometimes on a daily basis. Yes. Because you've set your task, I've got to move this glass to there. Mm by the end of today. I'm not thinking about anything else, I'm just thinking about moving that glass yes, today. Yes. I get to the end of the day, oh wow, I've moved the glass. Mm. I've had a successful day. Because I've had a successful day, I am successful. Yes. It doesn't matter that I haven't got no, it doesn't matter that Miles and I, as I say it again, we don't have mm. the money to, 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 to put the show together. Mm. Somehow the show's coming together. And that's a success. It's a success. And it's a process as well. Yeah, the yes. fact that we booked the Hackney Empire. And I said to him when we was going to do it, you know, we both agreed that we're not going cap in hand. Mm -hmm. We're not going to beg them for this and we're not going to beg them for that because at the end of the day, they need us as much as we need them. Mm -hmm. You know, the likes of the 291 Club, the likes of, um, uh, who else was down there? Black Heroes. Yeah, yeah. We really put bums on seats. Yeah. We put the Hackney yeah. Empire on the map. Yes, yes. And this is the kind of pride we need to have. Mm. The same person who told me that um, I would have been more successful. And I said, well, how do you measure it? Yes. And they were saying that certain other people are on the beat. They're on the this, they're on the that. Mm. I'm like, well, I've been doing radio for like over 20, 30 yeah, years. Yeah, on yeah. Colourful Radio, I ran a successful show on Colourful Radio, yes. interviewing people like yourself, yes, yes. Tiny Temper, big names. Yes, yes. And I, I did it my way. Yes, not their way. Not their way. I won't sing Frank Sinatra in the house, though. That's, I did it my <laughs> way. You know, I've got nothing <clears throat> against the Beeb or the yeah. other, you know, I've been employed by them. I've had mm. my own show on many of these yeah. stations. Yeah. But, you know, I think I'm of that ilk now yes. where if they were to offer me a show and it was the Elaine Smith show, then of course I'll be yeah, there. Yeah, No, you're right about that. I, I think after a while, one has to recognise that um, they know who they are and what they are bringing to the table. You've got to give value and take it away. I mean, when network marketing comes that, give value and take it away. I mean to say you know who you are because if mm. you're just giving something there, anybody can just take it away, Elaine. Yeah. Elaine, listen, it was awesome having <laughs> you here today. It was uh, awesome it, being it, here. It was really powerful, you know. But I want you to do one thing. Before you leave, I want you to look into that camera and tell me what is your mantra what is that key positive word that you want to share or when you trust me there are times you are down and there are times sometimes things lick you left right and center but what keeps you going yeah well yes. if it's i'm like camera, yeah. i'll tell you this and this is the truth yeah right if i'm having a day where that jigsaw puzzle is not fitting or that piece is not fitting into the puzzle or i've got a missing piece and it's jarring me i'll go to my bed and sleep <laughs> You got some and fans I here. Next, <laughs> flick the day out. I've got all my creature comforts around me, uh, 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 you know, and that's what I do. And tomorrow's another day. I wow. find that you sleep, you wake up, and but my mantra is: live the life you love, love and love, love the life, life you, you live. live. It's as simple as that. Wow! Wow! 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, no, thank you. You, you, you have heard it straight from the Elaine's Mount. There are a lot of horses around here, you know, <laughs> I'm trying to say, you know, from Elaine's Mount, you know. And um, it's been a pleasure having Elaine on the show. But one of the things that I've learned, and one of the reasons why I wanted Elaine on the show was because I believe very strongly in Elaine Smith as who she is. Now, I say that because many people try to piggyback or put people in a narrative or label them this, label them that. But I believe it's so important that an individual, a person, know who they are, you know, that you validate yourself. Don't let others to validate you. You know who you are. As I always say, my name's Silburn, <laughs> straight out of Oche. I <laughs> use that as my base. Elaine tried to mirror me by saying she come from Westmore. I'm asking her, where in you know, Westmore I'm <laughs> You know what I mean? You know? But anyhow, still, you know, she's original Jamaican still, you know? That's right. You know? But, but through the discussion, what you have heard here at the same time is about legacy. We have heard some tools. We have heard about the partner thing, the wind rush that brought it here. Where have we missed our way as a community, as a people, whereby we're actually lagging behind others that we were in front of? That's a question that you need to answer. I need to answer that. We all need to answer that question. We need leaders. And leaders is not everybody being That's a leader. Or even everybody's a leader. I remember the Prime Minister of Jamaica once time said, the difficulty in running Jamaica is that everybody is a leader. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, and when we talk about the simple things like the 291 Club, I say simple. But and any idea, any dream comes from a, a birth. And they went through the pan pain, but guess what? The baby come back and the baby are bounced, you know? Mm -hmm. I used to talk about this thing whereby in the Bible you have the Elizabeth and Mary. Elizabeth was the mother of John the Baptist and Mary was the mother of Jesus. And when they came together, the babies jump in their womb and those two babies changed the world. Jesus and John the Baptist. John the Baptist paved the way. Yeah, you can realize I'm a spiritual person. And Jesus, you know, upturned the world. You don't need everybody sometimes to upturn the world. You mm -hmm. just need two that make their baby jump. And that's what Elaine and Miles and the team, they make their baby jump. Don't, don't get be caught <laughs> up now with this baby jump. Thing. Look at the <laughs> metaphorical stands for it. You know? So that's my summing up of today. And um, what was supposed to be a 20, 30 minute show, I don't know. We'll see how long this one has been. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you so much for joining. Elaine? Thank you. It's a pleasure. Can I do a competition for the show, please? Yes, please, please, please. Yeah. Right. Okay. The competition for the show. Um, it's going to be simple. Why is the show called 291 Club? Why is the show called the 291 Club? Um, uh, email me? Yes. Okay. So uh, email me at contactus291club.co.uk. So that's email. Uh, sorry. Contact us at 291club.co.uk and please go to our website. Make sure you subscribe um, so that you know all of what's happening. Mm -hmm. www.291club.co.uk That's www.291club.co.uk The show is on Friday the 9th of November 2018. It's at the Hackney Empire and right after that we go next door to the Hackney Bar and we celebrate there with the after party. It's a bit confusing because the after party will start at nine o'clock. Mm. So for those that don't actually come to the show, they can still go and boogie with Jazzy Q from Soul to Soul because um, he'll be playing the music along with um, Rudy Ranks. So you can still go and mm. hang out there until the show finishes at 11, where we will then come and join you with our celebrity guests and it's just going to be fantastic can hardly wait mm. so you know if you haven't got your tickets already go to our website and grab yourself your ticket and can i just interject there you can can you have a break dancing competition there like always yeah we can i noticed <laughs> that you can body pop i saw you body popping earlier <laughs> yeah let's have a, 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 a body popping competition and i'll be yeah. there you know what i mean and stuff like that uh, you know, yeah you know? <laughs> well ladies and gentlemen i want to thank you so much for joining us on the silver and show and um thank elaine smith as well and remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Silver and TV, uh, Facebook, Silver and TV, and also on Twitter, Silver and TV. And of course, as I said, I'm dwindling, dwindling into the old Snapchat thing, which is so you need to be to get involved with the, with the youths, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, um, and of course, see you next time on the Silver and Show, and thank you very much.